What do you want to be in the future? A mad scientist? A hobo begging for cash? Well, enough about yourself. It's time to look at careers that involve science or technology. At number 10, we have film and video editor. They study scripts, determine the audio and visual effects, organize and review footage, and trim and piece together film segments. They make around $57,000. Taking math classes like geometry or algebra would help if you want to be a film and video editor. The minimum degree for a film and video editor is an associate's degree. Number 9 is microbiologists. Microbiologists study growth, structure, and other characteristics of organisms, the structure and functions of cells, conduct chemical analysis, and develop new products and procedures for sterilization, food, or microbial contamination detection. They make around $67,000. Classes to take if you want to be one are Biology, Chemistry, Physics, Algebra, Geometry, and Calculus. You would need at least a master's degree. Next up on the list is Chemist. They analyze compounds, develop, improve, and customize products, formulas, and methods, analyze information, confer with scientists and engineers, and write technical papers. They make around $73,000. You'll want to take Chemistry, Physics, Computer Science, Algebra, Geometry, Calculus, and English. A bachelor's degree in Chemistry is needed. At number 7 we have Computer Programmer. Computer programmers write and review programs, correct errors and recheck the program, and conduct trial runs. They make around $77,000. Classes to take are Physics, Computer Science, Algebra, Geometry, and Calculus. A bachelor's degree in Computer Science is required. Silva Engineer is next on the list. They provide technical advice, inspect project sites, test soil and materials, plan and design transportation, hydraulic systems or structures, and analyze survey reports. Their annual salary is $82,000. You'll need to take a lot of math and science like chemistry, physics, geometry, and calculus. The minimum degree is a bachelor's degree in engineering. Number 5. Electrical and Electronics Engineer they design, implement, maintain, and improve electrical equipment, facilities, and systems. They use engineering and design equipment, perform calculations, and research materials and equipment. They make around $91,000. You'll need to take a lot of math and science again for this career like chemistry, physics, algebra, and calculus. You'll need a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering. Robotics engineer is sitting at number 4. They build, configure, and test robots design robotic systems, debug robotic programs, and investigate mechanical failures. 94000 is around what they make. Again, you'll still need to take a lot of math and science for this one like chemistry, physics, algebra, and calculus. You'll need a bachelor's degree in engineering. Next up is astronomer. They study celestial phenomena, analyze data, present their findings, develop theories, collaborate with other astronomers, and calculate the orbit, sizes, and other properties of celestial bodies. They make around $105,000. You're still gonna need to know some math and science for this one, like physics, calculus, algebra, geometry, and all that. A PhD in physics is required. At number two, we got computer hardware engineer. Computer hardware engineers test and verify hardware, monitor equipment, build, test, and modify product prototypes, and write specifications. They make around $108,000. This career also requires a lot of math and science like physics, chemistry, computer science, algebra, geometry, and all that. A bachelor's degree in computer engineering is required. Last one on the list is neurologist. They examine patients, identify and treat neurological system diseases and disorders, communicate with other healthcare professionals, and prescribe or administer treatments or medications. They make around $187,000. To become one, you need to take four years of pre-medical education in a college or university, then take four years of medical school to become a doctor of medicine. After that, you need a one-year internship in either internal medicine or in surgery. And finally, after that, you need at least three years of specialty training in an accredited neurology residency program. Those were 10 careers involving science or technology. If you would like to read more about them, the link is in the description.